Shalom. <clears throat> Giving all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, with Kaku Double honor to the elder apostle, the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful lad. How you doing, bro? How you doing, sir? In the Bible, Matthew 24, chapter 36, verse. No one knows the, the day or the hour. Not even the angel, not even the Lord, Yahweh Shah, the son of the heavenly father. Only the Father knows the day that the Lord is going to return. So that's good enough to build anticipation and excitement. Excitement to strive to serve the Lord every day. Because no one knows the, the day nor the hour that the Lord is going to return. So that should be enough information to strive every day to repent and serve the Lord. You have a shimmy our shot every day. The fact that no one knows the day that the Lord is going to return, that should build enough excitement and motivation and inspiration to strive to serve the Lord and repent and be converted every day. Because the Lord, according to Psalm 7, chapter 11, verse, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. He judges the righteous and angry with the wicked every day. So according to Matthew 24, chapter 36, verse, no one knows the day nor the hour, not even the angels in heaven. Not even the son, but the father only. You have the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. Yah means he. Hawa means exists. He, he exists and he must be praised and worshipped. Yahweh Shah means Yah means he. Hawa Shah means savior, deliverer. And he is the savior and deliverer. And no one knows when the Lord is going to return. So that should be motivation. For the elect, the hopeful elect, to sigh and cry every day and complain to the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah, to destroy the wicked place, Babylon the Great. <clears throat> it's funny, since I've been doing this lesson at the college, we got a white van with a bunch of equipment in it, parked right beside where I do my lessons. I just spoke to the electrician guy. Maybe it could be some CIA, FBI stuff, I don't know, but. It's not gonna stop me from putting up videos. They say that's just that's my ability every day when I when I stop here in the canopy on the on the campus of, of Gaston College. So and it's it's prophesied that the men of the Lord they can be a spectacle and the men of the Lord will be watched and hated by the government of Babylon the Great. When you come into the truth, you make yourself a target to the enemies of the truth. Is that something? So it's no, it's, there's, there's, the Lord don't give us the spirit of fear. Actually, the 100% truth builds up your boldness in the Lord. Prior to coming to the 100% truth, I was a shy guy. But I'm amazed of how the inspiration of the 100% truth taught by the elder apostles of Great Millstone gives me boldness. Boldness to preach the word wherever I go is that something? And the fact that Matthew twenty four chapter thirty six verse said that no one knows the day, nor the hour, not even angels, not even the son, only the Father, the day when the Lord returns. So this year twenty twenty one is the year of hastening the coming of our day, hastening the coming of the day of the Lord. How about Shimmy Yahusha? And that day is at hand. The kingdom of, see the Matthew 24, chapter 7, verse says, Go and preach and, and, and preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you gotta preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But no one knows when that day of the Lord will come. And that should build your excitement. It should build your your motivation and inspiration to repent every day and be converted and strive to live a life. Of following the law, statute, and commandment to the best of your ability by way of rehearsing the righteous acts. I pray that this lesson be edifying to the hopeful lay. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful lay. Shalom.